In this lesson, we want to use the integral test to determine whether the series converges or diverges. Okay, so the integral test uh, before we need before we can apply that, we need to see if the conditions um, are satisfied. Okay, those and there's three conditions. Okay, we have to first see if the function corresponding to this is positive, and if it's continuous on the respective interval and uh, decreasing. Okay. So let f of x, let our function be equal to x over x squared plus 1. Okay. So the first one, okay. This function is positive. Okay. It's positive for, so summation is going from 1 to infinity. So this is, so for our condition, right, this x has to be, has to be for x bigger or equal to 1. Okay, so it is, it is positive, okay, um, because there's, uh, since x is bigger than or equal to 1, this is always, the function here will always give you a positive value, okay, all right. Second condition um, is it's continuous. Okay, it is continuous. Uh, because there's no there is no vertical asymptote here okay and we're working only with real values okay so there's no there's no value in x in the denominator there's no value x in the denominator that will make that zero okay so this is going to be continuous particularly for uh, for the interval that we're interested in okay third one Okay, we have to show that this is decreasing. Okay, and we can use the uh, we can use the first derivative test to do this. Okay, all right. So okay, is this decreasing? Well, let's do that. Let's so let's go over here. Okay, so our function. So we need the first derivative. The first derivative is going to give us, okay, so we take the derivative of the top, so using the quotient rule, take the derivative of the top, it's 1, and then so we're going to have x squared plus 1, okay, so derivative of the top times the bottom minus the derivative of the bottom times the top, okay, and all this, and all this is divided by the denominator squared. Okay, so this is going to simplify and give us uh, minus x squared plus 1, all divided by x squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so we need to find the critical number. Okay, so we're going to set we're going to set the derivative equal to 0. And solve for x. So in that case, um, this is simply going to be minus x squared plus 1 equals to 0. So that means x is going to give us, right, x is going to be equal to plus or minus 1. Okay. Since we're dealing with, um, since for our summation we're going from 1 to infinity. So on a number line, we don't really we don't really care about what's happening less than zero. So I'm going to put zero here, and our critical number is here. Okay. So we're going to pick a point. Okay. Let's say one half. Here I can choose. Let's say five. Okay. So if we put one half back into the back into the Derivative. Okay, so we're going to put it back and substitute back into the derivative. So we can use we can use this form. Okay. So putting that back into one putting one half into the derivative, uh, we're going to get a positive value. Okay. And then putting five into into the into there into the der first derivative, that's going to give us a negative value. So this shows us that the function is decreasing from 1 to infinity, okay?
All right, so yes, it is. Okay, so. so that's decreasing from one to infinity, okay? All right, so all three conditions are met. So we can go ahead and apply the, the integral test, okay? So we're going to go ahead and set up the improper integral. Okay, so we want to see whether this integral is converging or diverging. Okay, so we're going to take the integral of this. Okay. Remember, this is uh, this is an improper integral. So we're going to write this as the limit as b goes to infinity from 1 to b of x over x squared plus 1. Okay. So solving this integral, okay, so we can solve this by using the u substitution. Okay. Okay, so we're going to let u be equal to x squared plus 1. So that means du is going to be 2x. Okay. Um, so that means we get one half out of this. Okay. So we're going to have the limit as b approaches infinity. of the integral. So this is going to give us du 1 to b of du over u. And we need a 1 half outside here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it, let's see. Let's go ahead and put it here. All right, so then the integral of this is going to be natural log of u. So we're going to have the limit of natural log, one half of natural log u. Where u was x squared plus 1. Okay, so I'll write that down here. So the limit of one half natural log of x squared plus one. So this is going to give us, okay, so one half, and I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, I'll go ahead and write this below. I can take out the one half since it's constant. So this is going to be the natural log of b squared plus one minus the natural log of two. Okay. So that's going to give us okay. Alright, so this in so this uh this uh, limit, okay, so since b is going to infinity, okay, so b is going to infinity, and we're taking the natural log of that natural log as an increasing function. So we're going to get infinity minus 2, okay, so this is going to uh, diverge, okay. So since we're getting infinity here, that means, right, that the series, the corresponding series must diverge. Okay, so if it was converging, then that means the series would converge. Okay, so and therefore, uh, this series diverges. Okay.